A thesis is a claim that you can argue for or against. It should be something that you can present persuasively and clearly in the scope of your paper, so keep in mind the page count. If possible, your thesis should also be somewhat original. Internal combustion engine enables the driver to decide which source of power is appropriate for the travel requirements of a given journey. Major U.S. auto manufacturers are now developing feasible hybrid electric vehicles, and some are exploring fuel cell technology for their electric cars. Aquaculture, also known as aquafarming, is the farming of aquatic organisms such as fish, crustaceans, mollusks and aquatic plants. Aquaculture involves cultivating freshwater and saltwater populations under controlled conditions. Traditional divisions of domestic work are understood to persist because of the strong association of the home with femininity and paid work with masculinity. To challenge who does what in the home is arguably equivalent to challenging what it is to be a woman or a man.
public demand for education has remained strong, reflecting the importance of education as a means of social progress. Aware of the added value of education to the world of work, the government continues to innovate and update the education system in order to produce a qualified and competent workforce. Participating regularly in physical activity has been shown to benefit an individual's health and well-being. Regular physical activity is important in reducing the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease and stroke, obesity, diabetes, and some forms of cancer. The National Physical Activity Guidelines for Adults recommends at least 30 minutes of moderate-intensity physical activity, preferably every day of the week to obtain health benefits. Today, telecommunication is widespread and devices that assist the progress are common in many parts of the world. There is also a vast array of networks that connect these devices, including computer, telephone and cable networks. Computer communication across the Internet, such as email and instant messaging, is just one of many examples of telecommunication.
Researchers think that long-distance flyers such as the American Golden Plover and the White-Rumped Sandpiper picked up the spores while lining their nests. Then when the birds arrive in new places they molt, leaving behind the feathers and their precious cargo to start growing again at the other end of the world. These decisions are highly nuanced. Of course, we use a lot of data to inform our decisions, but we also rely very heavily on iteration, research, testing, intuition and human empathy. Now, sometimes the designers who work on these products are called, data-driven, which is a term that totally drives us bonkers. The fact is, it would be irresponsible of us not to rigorously test our designs when so many people are counting on us to get it right. Imagine living all your life as the only family on your street. Then, one morning, you open the front door and discover houses all around you. You see neighbors tending their gardens and children walking to school. Where did all the people come from? What if the answer turned out to be that they had always been there, you just hadn't seen them?
Food is one of the most important things you'll ever buy. And yet most people never bother to think about their food and where it comes from. People spend a lot more time worrying about what kind of blue jeans to wear, what kind of video games to play, what kind of computers to buy. Tissues are grouped together in the body to form organs. These include the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, and liver. Each body organ has a specific shape and is made up of different types of tissue that work together. For example, the heart consists mainly of a specialized type of muscle tissue, which contracts rhythmically to provide the heart's pumping action. Before the discovery of Australia, people in the Old World were convinced that all swans were white, an unassailable belief as it seemed completely confirmed by empirical evidence. The sighting of the first black swan might have been an interesting surprise for a few ornithologists, but that is not where the significance of the story lies. Most succulent plants are found in regions where there is little rainfall, dry air, plenty of sunshine, porous soils, and high temperatures during part of the year. 
These conditions have caused changes in plant structures, which have resulted in greatly increased thickness of stems, leaves, and sometimes roots, enabling them to store moisture from the infrequent rains. The life of a hunter-gatherer is indeed, as Thomas Hobbes said of the state of nature, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short, in some respects, to be sure. Wandering through the jungle bagging monkeys may be preferable to the hard slog of subsistence agriculture. introvert, or those of us with introverted tendencies, tends to recharge by spending time alone. They lose energy from being around people for long periods of time, particularly large crowds. Extroverts, on the other hand, gain energy from other people. Extroverts actually find their energy is sapped when they spend too much time alone. They recharge by being social. In the late 16th and 17th centuries, many English, French and Dutch emigrants went to North America in search of gold and silver. But they did not find it. Instead, 
settlers were forced to support themselves by cultivating crops that they could sell in Europe, like tobacco, indigo and rice. The natural environment can be hazardous, and, with increased travel and leisure, people today are more like life than ever to be exposed to potentially life-threatening conditions. Although the human body can adjust to some extent, it cannot cope with poisons or prolonged exposure to extremes of environment. <laughs> 